Wimbledon 2016 has wrapped up, and Serena Williams has officially tied Steffi Graf's record of 22 Grand Slam titles. She kept coming close without quite getting it, but now she finally has it. And girl, if you've got it, flaunt it. And that's exactly what she did. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm After Serena beat Angelique Kerber in the Wimbledon finals, she lifted both arms above her head and raised two fingers on each hand. 22, baby. She earned those bragging rights. And then, to make victory just a little bit sweeter, after this win, she then went on to win the women's doubles title as well with her sister, Venus. She's definitely feeling the domination sensation. Williams will be taking home a pretty penny from these wins. Well, minus the $10,000 that she got fined for smashing her racket during her second round match against Christina McHale. Now the booing is that uh, Williams has been throwing a little temper tantrum there. The racket has gone flying. Revelation, that's what's my iconic warning, Miss Williams. But hey, 10K is a minor splash in the bucket of cash she's taking home. Not to mention, the resale value of that racket is probably pretty high on eBay. I don't know, just a thought. One million dollars. So, was it the coaching? Or Sam Querrey doing Andy Murray the tremendous favor of knocking Novak Djokovic out of the tournament early that led to Andy Murray's success at this year's Wimbledon? Either way, Andy Murray has now won his second Wimbledon title, and again with Yvonne Lendl by his side to share in the glory. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. There were a lot of shockers at this year's Wimbledon, in particular on the men's side. First of all, not seeing Novak in a final is extremely unusual. So then we thought, okay, so it'll be Roger Federer and Andy Murray in the finals now. But nope. Milos Ranić stunned Fed to see his first slam final and also to become the very first Canadian man ever to reach a Grand Slam final. Do we owe his new coach, John McEnroe, a thank you for this one? So, for both men, they accomplished major feats. <laughs> Murray has now ended his three-year slam drought, so will he continue at the US Open? Novak Djokovic will still be the favorite to take the title, but Murray seems to be creeping in as a strong second. Will he get his chance to finally overcome Djokovic at the US Open? Let's see if we end up getting this much-anticipated rivalry on the court. Certainly wouldn't be bad for ticket sales. <laughs> Del Po Tro! Del Po Tro! Del Po Tro! Juan Martin Del Potro knocked out number four seed Stan Wawrinka in the second round.